Uh, now, sir, you were at the farmer's market in Perth earlier on today. Yes. Uh, as a farmer yourself, how important do you think farmer's markets are in bringing produce closer to the market? I, mean, I think they're hugely important. I mean, it's extraordinary when you think about it, but it's only relatively recently that these farmer's markets have caught on. I'm, I'm thrilled because, it, as you say, it does help bring the producer closer to the consumer. And the wonderful thing then is people who have a better understanding of where their food's coming from, they can rely on it, they can talk to the people who produce it. And I, I'm so full of admiration for all these wonderful, enterprising people who get so busy making wonderful things and adding value and just making the whole difference to life. Because it adds to the culture of food, it's an art of it all really. Which and we're rather lost, which the Italians haven't done. And then it was on to Balhousie Castle. Yeah. How important is it in that role to, to meet soldiers and their families, particularly well, at a time like this? Vital, I think. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm privileged enough to be involved in quite a lot of regiments um, over the years, and uh, I take all that side of things very seriously and try to see as much of my regiments as I possibly can. And look, obviously, while they're you know, abroad and in Afghanistan or Iraq, and, carrying out such incredibly challenging, difficult uh, task. It's, it's absolutely crucial to, to provide as much support and uh, understanding and everything else as possible. So clearly, any moment I can, I try to keep in touch. I mean, I gave you know, the medals after they came back from Afghanistan in January this year at Fort George, on one of the coldest days you can imagine. <laughs> but it was, it was wonderful to be able to do that. You're involved in a new initiative that's being launched today, Project Start. Um, can Don't you tell me you've heard of it. Yes, you? well, somebody told me. It's a miracle. <laughs> well, what's that about? Um, well, it's really it was an effort to try. Funny enough, it's something I've felt for quite a long time, but you know, like all these things, there's, there's, there's never the right moment. But now, perhaps it might be. It's really just an effort. To try. I've always felt that people don't really know what there is out there that allows you to be able to lead a more, you know, sustainable existence and uh, we do face such enormous challenges to say the least and we haven't got very long I don't think to deal with it before we start seeing real complications but what I hope we can do here is, is to enable people to see all the different sorts of technologies and other things, that, other things that are available how you can actually do things in a more positive way you don't have to stop doing everything but how you can actually adapt and, and help to mitigate the effects of climate change and perhaps reduce them. And there are all sorts of marvellous techniques. I think to try and bring them all together so people can see the whole thing in the round. So we're trying to, with the help of some marvellous sponsoring companies who've seen the point in all this, so I think they see the, the positive side. Let's start doing something about it rather than stop, if you know what I mean. Uh, so we're hoping, I mean, I'm going to go around the country or part of it anyway, in, in, in September, trying to visit areas and events and projects where things have already been happening that are well worthwhile. And also in London, in uh, the, the Mall and my, the garden at Clarence House and in Marlborough House next door in Lancaster House, to have a whole sort of demonstration of all these, all these possibilities. So it might just help to give people an opportunity to understand what there is there. Excellent. Make it fun as well, I hope. Good. Thank you very much. A rough description. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.